starting in 5 seconds sir 40 years ago when we achieved our independence it was not the end of our fight but a beginning of a new fight a fight against poverty and a fight to make freedom a reality for our teeming millions all of us are partners in this great struggle and have to go a long way to achieve our objectives we have to ensure a better life for our children and find more jobs for our young men during the last 50 years we have covered a long journey a journey not of comforts alone but of many hardships difficulties and dangers but as you know we are today stronger than ever before we are more resolute and united and our democratic institutions have taken deeper roots however we have to see that the pace of our progress is accelerated and we fulfill our pledges as you know we have made some progress and have a number of achievements to our credit but i regret to say that there are some people in our country who even question these achievements there is a mighty upsurge in india today and we all should try to gear ourselves to meet the challenges before us we should strive for unity and strength to achieve our objectives any temporary difficulty or our failure to do things should not lead us to believe that there has been no progress we do make mistakes sometimes but these cannot nullify our achievements while we criticize ourselves for our shortcomings we should not overlook our many achievements we have to do some hard searching and decide what the shape of things should be almost every year as you know we face droughts in some parts of the country and floods in others but the impact of such tragedies today is not the same as it was to be years ago previously whenever there was drought in rural areas there was hardly any assistance from outside but things are quite different now we take immediate steps to rush aid to the affected areas and face the calamity unitedly we cannot prevent the vagaries of nature but we can always face them unitedly a significant development we see is the increasing self-reliance among our people and a belief that they alone are the masters of their destiny this is our greatest asset and a source of our real strength as you know we have made considerable progress in the fields of agriculture and industry 55 years ago when we become free our condition was really bad and we were full of anxiety we were faced with so many problems and it looked as if we would not be able to preserve our independence but these people were proved wrong we were successful in solving 
our problems one by one and during these years made significant progress in every walk of life and improved our performance in industrial and agricultural fields food production in the country increased a large number of new factories have come up and again all the critical and complex problems were solved one by one production of steel and electricity has increased many heavy machines which we were formerly importing are now being manufactured in the country the development of heavy industry has enabled us to manufacture other machines indigenously it is true that our production is largely due to rapid increase in our population so we are always faced with the problem of how to meet the demand which is increasing day by day some people do not see things in proper perspective and try to be little the achievements such persons who close their eyes to the realities are no friends of the people i would like to take this opportunity to thank our armed forces for their heroic and courageous deeds these brave soldiers and officers of our army navy and air force have made great sacrifices to safeguard freedom of the country which has been attacked five times i firmly believe that the freedom of india will always be safe in their hands we express our gratitude and sympathies to the families of our brave soldiers and officers who lost their lives in the fighting all of us including our army and police have to make a united effort to uplift the country we fully realize that the real strength of a nation depends on its progress on its ideology on the unity of its people on the readiness of its people to make sacrifices we see lot of tension in the world today the real question before us is whether we want to put away our energies in useless agitations and quarrels or whether we want to look into our future and act to make it really prosperous today we find restlessness among our youth and others this restlessness is not peculiar to us alone youth all over the world want more and more participation in political and social affairs of the country at large this is a universal phenomenon today stop